Welcome to this look at new-ish mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, these are mods for Friday the 12th of April. It is Saturday the 13th. Apologies. Updates. We've got the Fent 900 Vario S4 by LS Agra Ole. We've got the Anthem 6x4 pack by Farm Mods TV. The Class Carrot by Kawake... Uh, Class Carrots Kaweco Carrots by Lucas, the OMB Hopper Trailer Pack by Nazif, Eric Isaac Agro Mods, the Cotter VE8000 by De Beduvek Team. We have got the Greenhouse Modular by Castor DS Agro Service, the Animal Product Warehouse by The Lort, the Wood Pellet Factory by Gwendal, the Hall with Cooling Chamber by Farmer 5 Tom, the Universal Crusher by Empro Loop, and the Front Shed by The Design Farmer. They have all had updates. I have before me the American Water Tower. This is by Squiggles. It is 4.28 megabytes download, two slots, 1,200 to buy. Once purchased and placed, water is free from it. I like the, there's a, is that an eagle up on there, isn't it? It looks like an eagle up on there. Yep. Um, and like I say, the water is free. Build mode and containers is where you'll find it. Right there, 1,200 slot count. Comes down from two to one. That's the water tower, the American water tower by Squiggles. Next, now this is an interesting one. I've got a selection of various different sheds. Now these are base game sheds and these are the things we're looking at. All these items here. This is the Rent Your Stable by Farmer 5 Tom. 42.2 megabytes download. The slot counts on these go from three up to 41, depending on them. So this is not the buildings, but these things that go with it. So the point behind this pack is renting out space that you may have. And in renting it out, you earn money. So it's a passive income. And there are various different mods we can put in so this one is a sort of uh, a gaming hub so we've got chess here we've got computer game setups here some sofas so people can sit and watch and we've got van parking this one here we've got a parking area here large so larger parking lot so if you've got a spare bit of barn space or you've got a bit in a courtyard or you've got a field somewhere that you're not using you can rent it out we've got a hobby workshop for car maintenance and repair we've got a little bit of um, storage here shelving storage for somebody who just you know, whatever it might be they want to store another little bit of parking here we've got a little recycling center tucked around the side now i don't know if this is the map some of you might have noticed sometimes it, um because we have the water plane underneath this i don't know for definite but you can see there's a gap underneath there underneath all of these as you place them here on western wales at least there's a gap underneath them all um, it's a minor thing if you put my trouble if you've got put, um, as I was saying, put grass down you can't really tell um, but obviously for something like parking bays you don't want the grass to be there and um, we've got a little playground you can place as well we've got this gardening set up here so you've got a, a gardener's horseman and this one here so there's a sort of selling area and a, and, and a a growing area if you want to call it that uh, then we've come over to the bigger storage over here we've got indoor storage there's outdoor and there's indoor so we've got indoor storage here for vehicles we've got i think it'll, it'll say all the descriptions of them what they are we've got a wood storage one as well this one here is a, a carpentry setup and again all these can be put in to earn you a bit of extra revenue which is rather cool so if we go into build mode go to production and we go to generators that's where you'll find them so we scroll back across till we get to the first of them just there so we start with interior rental so car storage space it's 600 and that's a sort of a fee and that's this one here that we're looking at there under there um, and that will earn you 2880 per month which is pretty cool um, we've then got next to that we've got gardening and landscaping interior rental I think that's this one here so it's just some landscaping and gardening stuff now depending how how big your sheds are how far underneath you put them when you come to place them like this as you can see this one's a rather large one um, you may need to toggle free mode off to get it to go under buildings into buildings that kind of stuff we've then got the gaming room which we saw over there we've got the hobby workshop and all the prices as you can see they come up on the screen hobby workshop that was the car maintenance one we've got the carpentry that's this one over here with the van i've just swung it around a different direction and again depends what way you, you want to put it around the warehouse interior rental we saw that as well uh, i'm just making sure i've missed anything the large car park was on the side of a building car park that was on out to over that side uh, we then got the gardening and landscaping outdoor space 
We've then got this one. Actually, did I not put this one down? Oh, I did, yeah. I put it by side this shed here. There you go. Firewood storage area, outdoor space. We've then got the small playground, which is this one here. We've got the van, which is this one here, over there. We've then got the selling area of the horseman tree nursery. So that's this smaller one here. Then next to that, we've got the planting area of the horseman tree nursery. So that's the large one. Again, can be rotated round. And then we've got the recycling centre, which was over the back. Then we're back to sort of standard stuff. So, I mean, the, the lowest you're going is that, that parking space there. You're going to earn 96 a month. But for a couple of vans, and if you're going to put decorative details and things down around your map anyway, and you own the land, why not use it to rent out the space? It, it just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I like that. That's a very cool idea. You know, it's a bit of a change from wind turbines and, and um, solar panels and that kind of thing. We've had a few holiday homes and the holiday lets, and this is just something a little bit different. So, rent your stable by Farmer 5 Tom. Next, we've got over here, old Polish garage. This is by Mishu77. 18.27 megabytes download, 22 slots, 35,000 to buy. We go into here. I just think it's no sound effect, is there? We do have light switch for this end. There. On the wall. And then we've got a light switch up this end as well. Just there. For that end. This door open as well. Nicely detailed. Nicely weathered. Double doored. That's the old Polish garage by Miko77. Miko. Mishu. Uh, this will find a build mode and sheds. And the slot count will come down on that one from 22 down to one for the old Polish garage. Next door to that, we've got this. This is the small Polish house by Squashim. This is by 13... This is 13.64 megabytes down. Why can't I speak today? 20 slots, 25,000 to buy. You can't go inside the building. Looks just like that. Build mode, farmhouses. Just there. 25 grand slot count comes down from 20 to 1. Just a sleep trigger. I don't think we've got a wardrobe trigger with this one. Nope, just a sleep trigger. Right there. That's the small Polish house by Squashim. Next up, we've got the metal garage. This is by Ikas. It is 6.21 megabytes download. Uh, 11 slots, 30,000 to buy. This one does have colour options as well. Small side door just there. A smaller roller door there and a larger roller door in the middle. Lighting on the inside is just here. Nice and bright lighting. And a build mode and sheds. Just there. Slot count will come down to one. And I think it says it's 21, I think 21 different colour options. But we'll scroll through. So we can change the colour by going across on the D-pad, right on the D-pad. There we go. It may be just the thing you're looking for. That's the Metal Garage by Ikas. Next. We've got this. This is the three-sided farm pack by Bernie SCS. 33.4 megabytes download. This comprises of, we have a farmhouse, which is just here. Farmhouse is 10 slots and 50,000 to buy. We've got a shed with silo, which is this one here. Um, I'm going to be using this for something else in a minute. That's why I've got some other bits and bobs out. Um, shed with silo, nine slots, 35,000 to buy. That's a two million litre capacity and it is multi-fruit. We have then got storage, which is this building just here 250 items bales and pallets and as you can see inside i've got a selection liftable bales normal bales regular pallets big bags ibc and we've got an egg pallet over there so it will take pretty much anything doors I will, we'll go through and show the doors and windows and stuff um so that's the story that's six slots twenty five thousand we've got the shed l form or l shape which is this one here this doesn't have anything in it other than that it's a shed that's seven slots fifteen thousand to buy and then we've got a fermenting silo which is this one just here and the fermenting silo is nine slots and fifteen thousand to buy so you'll find it in those locations so under farmhouses where you find the farmhouse fermenting silo is under productions factories because it is a factory technically silos the shed with silo actually that might be under sheds let me just double check that yeah the regular shed the l form one is that one there if we go to our silos there you go so shed and farm silo two million liters that's that one there and then we've got next to that the storage which is that one there and if we go, actually I'll go back to that, if we go to production, that's where you'll find your production silage just there. So that's 15,000 for that silo. Now, there's not actually a trigger on the silo. We've got putting in and we've got taking out. 
but a managed silo. The fermenting silos don't tend to. This whole pack is incredibly well made and well detailed. It looks fantastic. If we come inside there, we should get the option to turn on shed lights. Nice bright lighting. And look, I mean, look at the level. Of, I'm actually, I love the look of it. I think it's a fantastic building set. The farmhouse, we've got a sleep trigger and we've got a wardrobe trigger. So sleep trigger just there. Wardrobe trigger on the side there. But if we go into our productions menu, so we go into this menu here, and we go to our productions, you'll see there we can make grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, and straw silage. Um, I have got chaff silage running. I put 150,000 litres of each of those in, and it barely touched the sides. It doesn't say on the mod what the capacity is. It's going to be in the millions. Um, and it's pretty fast as well, because it's a 1,000 to 1,000 recipe. Even though the cycles per month aren't very high, it will produce pretty quickly. Um, and you will get silage from all of them out. So if you've got a little bit spare of something, you can get that chugging away, which is absolutely great. Um, so yeah, putting into the silo is done here. And what we've also got, obviously double door that opens outside there. We have got a ladder that takes us upstairs. And we have got a hayloft bit up here. I've put a bale there, you'll see in a minute. And we have got a door there for our hayloft, which is very nice if you want to use it as such. Small liftable bales or large liftable bales, whatever you'd rather use. Now, if we come across the way, we'll have a quick look at the L shape or the L form. Large bit of building here. Now, this one doesn't have a ladder up to the top there, but there is um, a sort of a hayloft bit up the top there as well. So, nice bit of space in here. Nice sound effects, nice detailing. I like this one, this is very cool. It's a nice pack with some very, very cool options on it. So there we go. That's the three-sided farm pack by Bernie SCS. Next. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to this next because I'm right next to it. I've got one set up here. And I've got one set up over there. That was for my thumbnail. And we've got one set up over there. So um, this is the Lizard Hydroglide XL header storage system by Superfly1842. 0.71 megabytes download, five slots each. We've got one designed for um, seven, I think seven 7.5 meter headers and one designed for 13.5s. So the 7.5 meter one, obviously you can overhang your headers further, but if anything much smaller, four meter won't fit on there. And then the 13s, which we'll have a quick look at that when we go over in a minute. Um, you can go longer than the 13, but again, anything less than I think 13.5 or 12.5, um, and you risk them dropping off there. But these are very cool. These are automated. We do have a stop button just here, and there's a there's a method for putting things on and off of these. You can see a one and a two. When we come up there, it will say rack one and rack two. The bottom one just sits on the floor. If we move that one out of the way, put that to one side. Now I've got to remember which order it was. <laughs> it's important you do it in the right order. So we do it in the opposite. So what we want to do now, I think, is rack two. So what we want to do, if we do rack two, it brings the low end up one down. Look at that. Beacons flash. That one comes down. So that's rack two. So once that's down, now, obviously, it depends, you know, what order you want to grab. I, mean, I, I, I think it's just it's a brilliant idea. Move that out of the way, put that to one side. Just drop that off. And then what we can do, I think we can just bring rack one down. Or do we have to reset it? I think we might have to reset. Reset rack two. And then to bring the top one, which is rack one, we go to this side, and we do rack one. It brings the whole lot down. So it brings the top one. And then it's the reverse. It depends which way you bring it, because I had them already on there. But obviously if you're coming to put them on there first, and the whole lot's up, you bring rack one down, load rack one, reset it, it goes up. Then you bring rack two down, load rack two, reset it. So, or you can you can probably just leave it. Like I say, if you're out in the field, and this just saves on space for headers and stuff as well. You don't necessarily need header trailers and that kind of thing. Depends how much room you've got. Um, so I can leave that like that, and when I bring it back, put it on, all I've got to do is reset rack one, the whole lot will go back up, and then I can do rack two, and you know. So if I do that now, that takes the whole lot back up. And when I'm ready to load, and it might be you only want to put something on rack two, so just bring rack two down first and do that one. It's entirely up to you. These were under build mode and tools. There we go, just there. So we're at 17,500 for the XL, that's the one that does the larger headers, 12,500 for the L, which does the smaller headers, and these were... Oh, I didn't write down the slot counts. Oh, I said, didn't I? Five slots each. 
Um, but we do also have, when we come to place these, sorry, that's what I was going to show you, we have colour options as well. So when we come to place it, I go across on my D-pad and we can change the colour on it to mix and match to suit whatever you're doing. If you just want it black, you can just have it black. But you can scroll through, there are colour options on there as well. So let's bring that out of the way. Put that down. I won't collect the next one, but if we bring down Rack 2 first... Same thing with the larger headers. And it works really well. You know, there's no jostling of headers. It's no bouncing. There's no headers clipping through it. It, it works. So it does say there's an emergency stop. That just shuts everything off. If something goes wrong. Oh, the emergency stop. That just dropped that through. That reset the whole thing. I've just noticed. I wasn't sure what the emergency stop was going to do. And it appears that was it. So that's the Lizard Hydroglide XL Header Storage System by Superfly18. 42. Very cool. Uh, we are going to move to this next. So, this is the multi purpose sheds. This is by Flinttown Modding 1.34 megabytes download, three slots each, 49,382 each. And these are buy points. I thought they were storage buildings. They're a little bit pricey i guess because we've got multi routes or buy anything silos but again you might want to put like the, there's a salt one there's a line one and you might want to put the salt one if you've got a contractor's yard that in the winter you go there to get salt you know it depends how immersive you want to do you know your your sort of storytelling or what you're going to do but this is what each one looks like with its various different items in uh, these are under build mode and containers so we start there we've got a salt shed we've got a sugar beet shed wood chip shed stone shed lime shed and a potato shed all the same price all the same slot count three which comes down to one um, and they are they are just a buy point straightforward multi-purpose sheds by flint town modding a little bit further along from there we have got this this is the earth fruits storage by spk so this is storage for root crops this will do potato sugar beet it will do carrot parsnip and red beet as well it says 250,000 litres, but it's 250,000 litres each side. This has a great animation when it works as well. We've got lighting in here. I don't know if we have, actually. Or maybe the lighting comes on at night. Um, so when you tip into the little so I say silo, a little bit here, the conveyor belt works and it tips to one side. So it's 250,000 on one side. If you keep tipping um, the same product, it will automatically put it into the next one. If you stop before you get to 250,000 litres... I thought I'd switch that over. Um, it will carry on, so it will give you a total of 500,000 litres. So you can do 500,000 500, of one crop, or 250 each side of two separate crops. That's entirely up to you. This you find under build mode, under silos, right there. 50 grand, slot count comes down. Uh, this was 9.94 megabytes download. Uh, putting in is done at the front, taking out is done at the back. What I am going to do then... Uh, but let's see if it will let me put this in. If it doesn't, I'll just put the beat back in again, but that's not one. Like I say, just so I can show you the animation. Okay. So that's on that side. That's interesting because when it did the sugar beat, there was an animation. Oh, there you go. It's gone off the back now. Once it reaches it, That's really cool, that. Very nice indeed. The Earth Fruit Storage by SPK. Next. We've got this. This is the Resistance Weight by Bialy. Bialy. 2.89 megabytes download, three slots on console. You will find it, find it under weights. Out on the end there, 2,000 slot count comes down from three to one options on this we've got main color anything on that palette like that design color does the bits on the front the weighty bits and it's a weight um you can raise and lower it the chain is fixed in place that's not for towing or anything like that that's just how you get it that's the resistance weight by bielli uh next we've got the make sure we've got the right one the right order that's the case and this is the givone so we've got the Kivon APXRS. This is by Matteo40 and Nico Do55. 9.75 megabytes download, 9 slots on console, 4.4 meters wide. This is a disc harrow. This has no options on it, so you get it just like this. 
So let's start this up. Actually, while we're starting that up, we will go to disc arrows because the next one is as well. So they're both in here. So we've got the Kivon X and the APXRS 440. 24,800, sock count comes down to one. Like I said, no options, you get it just like that. The Kivon APXRS, so unfold. Now usually, disc arrows are shallow cultivators. There you go, as you can see. So when you go over an area that does have stones, if it's already been done, you, uh, you sh it shouldn't bring up stones, like I said, because it is a shallow cultivator. So this is the 4.4 meter. Yep. Nice, smooth seabed it is providing. So that's by Matteo, 40, and Nico, do 55. So now we're going to the next one then. The case is 770 by Hungry Bull. 17.96 megabytes download. Nine slots, 6.2 meters. We'll hook it up, we'll unfold. Now this does have the option for a little bit of movement. You see we've got a tip forward right there. So we can get our level just right for our discs. I think if we go L1, R1 and right stick as well, we can tip backwards as well. So you've got a little bit of movement. Maybe it's the same one. It seems to be the same option. But there's a little bit of movement there. Uh, again, this is under disc arrows. So we drop this down. This should shallow cultivate. There you go. So this will be exactly the same as the other one. Won't bring up stones. Nice animation. So we'll go back to our disc arrows. I think it was easier. I don't want to confuse the issue because there's lots of options. Say. So we've got the optional trailer bog and BKT on this one. We've got US rim, or we've got Hungarian rim, and that's on both BKT and um, Trellebog. We've then got US International Harvester D decal, or case decal, then it goes to the Hungarian decal with IH or case, so you've got a difference, you know, US or Hungarian with IH or case options. You've got one wheel lifting cylinder, so you've got a cylinder on one side, or you can go with two, so you can have a cylinder either side for the lifting of the wheels. Your main color, anything on that palette there, does all of that. Spring color, um, I'm trying to think, where are the... Oh, it is, the springs, you can just see them to the front of it. If I remember when I edit this, I'll put an arrow to it. If I change spring color, let's go pink. There we go, spring color, pink. There we go, that's spring colour and then rim colour, anything on this palette, like so. So there we go. Turn off the engine. That's the Case 770 by Hungry Bull. Next we have this, I was only talking about one of these recently. This is the Bale Conveyor Belt by Bernie SCS and Silent Modding. What's interesting is the pack we're, we're going to use this against is by Bernie SCS. Bale Conveyor Belts rule. Um, I, I just think they're very, very cool. Only downside I found with this, it doesn't go up particularly high. I thought it might extend, but it doesn't. Um, so it depends on where your, you know, how tall your hay loft is. So I thought, oh, brilliant, we'll use it with the hay loft here. We've got the mod, um, but it doesn't quite reach up high enough. That being said, 2.55 megabytes, three slots. You'll find it under belt systems. Second one in, 1,020. Five horsepower, slot count will come down from three to one. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette like that. Those are our options. So, we can hook up to a trailer, or to a trailer, hook up to a tractor, take it wherever you want to go. You're better off trying to line up as best as you can first. It will go forwards and backwards and it will go side to side a little bit, but it has like um, supports. So what you're almost better off doing at this point, with it hooked up, is raising it. So L1, right stick, up and down. If I raise it up to its fullest height, you get the idea of the height of it. And then we go back as far as we need to go. So as far as we need to go. I'm just trying to get that maybe about there. Let's try that. And then disconnect it. So, if I come out of the way, 
So disconnected, we can enter the vehicle and we can start the engine. And then what we can do is we can fold or unfold so we can put that away and then we can turn the conveyor belt on. Now I have gone for liftable bales, but if you want to with a, a forklift, tell you how whatever you've got for moving bales around, you can bring your bales over, drop them on and off they go. But if you can do it by hand, you can do it by hand if you want to. Put the bale on there. And that'll probably stop when it gets to the top. I wonder if it will keep going. And we might get lucky. No, it has. Maybe the next one up will give it a shove. Depends how much oomph the belt, belt has got. It might just stop. That's not a problem. Right, so the belt is still running. So I can load the belt up. So if, I, if I'm operating on my own, if I'm playing multiplayer, that's fine. If I go through and up to the hayloft. I love these. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Let's grab that off there. Get out of the way. So as you can see, even though it's not quite high enough for the... Re it, it will still go. I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. We had one on... Was it 19? Or 17? It wasn't. Was it 17? Was it the Valley of the Old Farm? I'm trying to think when I used it. But... Top down to there. It's very cool. We can raise and lower it from here as well. So depending on, you know, how you want to go about doing it, you can. But that's it. That's very nice indeed. The Bale Conveyor Belt by Bernie SCS and Silent Modding. Next. We've got these. Both of these are by Agrotonio. We've got the John Deere 627C, which is the corn header, corn or sunflower header. Um, the 627C is 9.57 megabytes download, 9 slots and 13.4 meters. And then we've got the John Deere S7. Um, the John Deere S7, we've got two well technically sort of more than two it's 43.55 megabytes down there we've got the s7 600 which is this one here uh, and then we've got the s7 700 to 900 the 600 is 22 slots the 700 to 900 is 23 slots as you can see we do have options for opening of covers and various different things we've got doors and seats and mirrors and things that can be adjusted altered open and close we can open up the ladder a bit for getting up and doing your daily maintenance and those kind of things it's actually a very nice looking harvester, or say, nice looking pack of harvesters, should I say. If we go to our tools and we go to corn headers, so the 627C there is 84 grand, sort of and comes down to one. We can have the option, the light is on the back, we can have light, yes or no, a main colour, anything on that palette at all. So although it's a John Deere corn header, you can mix and match it with harvesters, or if you want your header to stand out for some reason, you absolutely can. We then go to our harvesters. So we start with the S7 600, 226,000 to purchase. Uh, we do have 382 horsepower, that is fixed in place. But then we've got our carrier size, 8,800 litres. Then we've got that with a frame and with a tarp. We then go to 10,600 with a frame and with a tarp. 14,100 litres, and that's foldable, so that doesn't have a frame or a tarp that comes with it. So maximum 14,100. We have then got Continental, Michelin, Trelleborg, Lizard, and back. That's the same on all of this and the next one as well. So we have got, I think this is the same as the one we had, that's sort of similar to the one we had the other day. Um, but we have tracks on this one. So we've got Standard and Standard 2, so that changes the tyres at the back. We've then got Transport, Transport 2. We've then got Twin Wheel, Twin Wheel 2, and then we go to Crawler Track. So we've got Crawler Track. Crawl track 2 and back. So this one, as you can see, wide crawl track, crawl track 2 narrow. If we, when we move on to look at the S7 um, 700 to 900, it also you got you can adjust the width of the axle as well on it, but I'll show you that in a second. Front signaling, we have got signal bar, we've got reflective signaling, reflective 2 or off. So that's kind of more US, that's more EU. Uh, then we've got numbers 1 through 9. Put some up there, back again. We've got rear signaling, standard. We've got triangle, we've got signaling bar, signaling bar and triangle, reflective signaling with triangle on off. We've got chip and model one, two, three. We've then got with warning stickers, that's on the back section. I think it's around the vehicle generally. Then we've got exhaust standard, model one, model two, back to standard. Window film. Standard smoke one, two, three, back to standard. We've got monitors G4 and G5. 
and then G4 and GPS, G5 and GPS back again. Then we've got rear gauge, so this is the axle width standard 3.22, 3.32, 3.42, 3.52, 3.62, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, 7.8, 7.9, 7.10, 7.11, 7.12, 7.13, 7.14, 7.15, 7.16, 7.17, 7.18, 7.19, 7.20, 7.21, 7.22, 7.23, 7.24, 7.25, 7.26, 7.27, 7.28, 7.29, 7.30, 7.31, 7.32, 7.33, 7.34, 7.35, 7.36, 7.37, 7.38, 7.39, 7.40, 7.41, 7.42, 7.43, 7.44, 7.45, 7.46, 7.47, 7.48, 7.49, 7.50, 7.51, 7.52, 7.53, 7.54, 7.55, 7.56, 7.57, 7.58, 7.59, 7.60, 7.61, 7.62, 7.63, 7.64, 7.65, 7.66, 7.67, 7.68, 7.69, 7.70, 7.71, 7.72, 7.73, 7.74, 7.75, 7.76, 7.77, 7.78, 7.79, 7.80, 7.81, 7.82, 7.83, 7.84, 7.85, 7.86, 7.87, 7.88, 7.89, 7.90, 7.91, 7.92, 7.93, 7.94, 7.95, 7.96, 7.97, 7.98, 7.99, 7.10, 7.11, 7.12, 7.13, 7.14, 7.15, 7.16, 7.17, 7.18, 7.19, 7.20, 7.21, 7.22, 7.23, 7.24, 7.25, 7.26, 7.27, 7.28, 7.29, 7.30, 7.31, 7.32, 7.33, 7.34, 7.35, 7.36, 7.37, 7.38, 7.39, 7.40, 7.41, 7.42, 7.43, 7.44, 7.45, 7.46, 7.47, 7.48, 7.49, 7.50, 7.51, 7.52, 7.53, 7.54, 7.55, 7.56, 7.57, 7.58, 7.59, 7.60, 7.61, 7.62, 7.63, 7.64, 7.65, 7.66, 7.67, 7.68, 7.69, 7.70, 7.71, 7.72, 7.73, 7.74, 7.75, 7.76, 7.77, 7.78, 7.79, 7.80, 7.81, 7.82, 7.83, 7.84, 7.85, 7.86, 7.87, 7.88, 7.89, 7.90, 7.91, 7.92, 7.93, 7.94, 7.95, 7.96, 7.97, 7.98, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.99, 7.
And then we've got seat movement, R1, right stick side to side and up and down. So we can move our seat around as well. So from outside, that looks like you're doing the funky seat chicken dance, like so. There you go. That does all that. And then we've got that, which does that. And then that does the door. There we go. Then we switch again and we go to side covers. So we've got R1, right stick side to side. So does the back. So the ladder. Then up and down does that panel. Then L1, right stick side to side. Hang on. L1, R1, right stick side to side. And up and down, close those. So you can flap them like a bird if you want to. And then we go back to our stairs and mirrors. So those are all the options on there. What we're going to do is jump across here. I'm sure this had some extra options. I'll show you the corn header in operation as well. I love that, leaning forward to start the engine. But you don't, I don't always pay attention to those animations. Let's turn it off again, and then we'll start it up. That's cool. So stairs and mirror. Now you see this, we've got the um, sort of more US version here with the signals on it. If I turn the lights on, to put, the, put those on so you can actually see them flashing. Now if I go L1, R1 and right stick side to side, that folds the whole lot away. That's brilliant. Turn those off. There we go, now they've turned off. Right, so, we cut pipe out. So foldable, I think I went for the 8.9 in that one. We unfold the header, so this is, like I said, this is the, the 627C and the John Deere S7 sort of series by Agrotonio. I'm going to run out of time, I've just realised. Let's go into the cornfield and get cracking with this. Unfold target. Unfold the harvester. Don't forget to unfold the harvester, people. <laughs> Turn that on. Once the head is unfolded. There you go. That's a very cool pack. Or set the John Deere 627C and John Deere S7 by Agro Tonio. Next, we've got this. This is the Lizard 608D Mercedes um, by Cola. 28.15 megabytes download, 16 slots for the vehicle itself. Then we've got a, a bulk transport, which will be bulk or it can be a bale trailer or a flatbed. Um, 14,100 for involved in the options. That is three slots then we've got the animal back to that which i think was three or two slots as well for this pack now this is not without its worries i'm not gonna lie i mean it looks fantastic. i love it i think it looks absolutely great but when it turns it does some very peculiar things you'll find the vehicle itself under trucks right there the 608d 28 grand which is really really cheap it's only 85 horsepower slot count comes down to one so we've got our emblem we can change through those various different choices on our emblem, like that. We've then got wheel setup standard, standard two, design one. I'm trying to look and see what changes. Does it change the bolt pattern or? Is it... hmm. I'm trying to see what changes there. Standard two, design one, and then one with white wall. So four options on that. Uh, decorative sash, one, two, three, four, no. We've got antennas, left, right, both. Then we've got four, puts them a little bit higher. Left, right, both. Then we've got to the side at the antenna. And then we've got, uh, where, did, where did eight go? Oh, sorry, left, then right, then both on these shorter antennas, and then off completely. Sun shield, one, two, three, or off. Let's leave that one on for the moment. Uh, bumper, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, seven, two, no. So a few different options. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I prefer it standard, but that's my own personal opinion. Let me exhaust standard, exhaust two, puts the exhaust out the other side, then we go for a load of different ends on the exhaust. So exhaust three, four, five, six, 
back to standard. We've then got markers on the sides, yes or no, at the front. We've then got embellishment on rear lights. This has got a load on it. So we've got three orange, three red, five orange, five red, no. We've then got steering wheel colour. We've got white or we've got black. We've got rear hubcaps. One, two, three, or no. We've got front hubcaps. Design one, two, three, four, no. We've got capacity plastic tank. 80 litres, 100 litre on a round tank, 120 litres on a square tank, uh, back to 80 on the plastic. We've then got main colour, anything on this palette. We do have pairs here, so a more sort of glossy and a maybe slightly flatter, slightly more glossy, yeah, on each one, but anything on that palette. Hub colour does the centres, the hubs. Chassis colour, we've got the red or we've got black. You've then got the rim colour, we have got grey sort of silvery white and we've got the chrome as well which if you've gone for the white walls it doesn't really make the white walls stand out but that's up to you and a license plate option there too so that's the vehicle then we come out of there and we go to trailers so the bolt carrier four by two is just there eleven thousand six hundred slot count comes down to one um so the bolt carrier as you can see there is more like um a chaser bin, auger wagon. So it'll do those auger wagon type crop types plus seed and fertilizer. So it doesn't do everything. So something to be aware of. Standard, you can have it flat like that. You can have a bale tray like that with the size that come down. Then capacity 14,000, not 14, 14,000 litres. Design, black. So that's those bottom sections and those hooks. We can change black or white. Design, so look for what goes from white to black. There we go, that section white or black. And then we've got the next one, white or black, which is a little section above it. We've then got main colour, anything on this palette. Again, to mix and match with whatever you've gone for, that's in type to you. We go like that. Design colour, next, if you've gone for the cover, the larger option, we can change our cover colour. Design colour, the bits that are white, so let's go and change those. There we go, underneath, we can do that. Next design colour, let's go for orange, makes those stand out, does all of that. And back off again. So that's the bulk carrier. Then we come out of there and we go to animal transport. Out on the end there. So it will do six cows, it will do eight pigs, it will do six sheep, and it will do six horses. Colour options are pretty much the same as the previous one. So the bits at the bottom at the moment are black, or black or white. And we've got white or black on that, white or black on that. Main colour again. Let's go with that, for example. Design colour again, we'll go for something that stands out. Bottom section. Next design colour, let's go red. I probably should have gone for something else. Blue, I don't know. Whatever, the, those options available there. So, this is where things get a little bit funky. It's quite loud. Horn. There's no doors or windows. I thought of that. But I do I do still like it. Interior. I mean, it's fairly basic, but the, the, the real vehicle is fairly basic. If we hook up to our back, this is our bolt carrier. Straps on or off, in cab or not. We can open the side walls, which does all of them. I do love those white walls, I, I really do like that look. But, what's when we turn, let's put the straps on. When we turn with this, is it going to do it still? Yeah, when we turn, it turns in towards the turn. It's not doing so much with this, maybe it's not going to do it now. It was, it was really leaning, so as you turn it in, it leans into the turn. I wonder if going to do it more with the bolt carrier because it was it was quite pronounced and I thought oh I don't I didn't want to unfortunately I can't do a lot about it that's what it does it's that's you know so the bolt carrier does have straps as well on it uh, and we can open and close our cover as you can see do we have an option for this side I don't do unload here just does the back section like that it doesn't tip but it will unload I think this had the option to open the sides up. It doesn't. Right, let's see if this will do it. Yeah, look. look. So if we turn, look. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Look. It turns into the... It turns into the turn. It's very peculiar. It's a bit disconcerting when you first do it. I mean, I, yeah, look. Whoa. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't. Excuse me. <coughs> I was laughing, choking at the same time. 
I don't think it's supposed to do that. But anyway. Then we go to livestock one. I think we've got some pigs in here. We've got a couple of doors that can open and close on this one. So we can do it with this one as well. Please don't. Oh yeah, look. What? What's that all about? That's, yeah. I wouldn't want to be an animal in the back of there. Let's just say that. Uh, so, swing that round. And then with this one, we can open the doors. Plus both partition sets of doors. We've got our animals in there. Whichever ones you have decided to go for. That's the Lizard Mercedes 608D by Cola. Next, we have got this. This is the Volvo. NL series by Nazif modding AJ3D, uh, 20.86 megabytes download, 17 slots on console. It's very nice indeed. Looks very cool. It has one little thing about it that I was like, mm, um, I'll, sh I'll show you because I do. That's you know. anyway, very nice. This you'll find again under vehicles and under trucks. You probably saw it when we look at this one. There you go, just there. 43 grand, not too bad at all. For the base model, it looks like that. We've got a 6x2 or a 6x4. Those are the two options on there. We've then got 211 horsepower. We've got 320 horsepower, 340 horsepower, 360, 410, back to 211. So 410 being the highest. Only adds 18 grand off of 410 horsepower. We've got front bumper, design one, two, three, um, back again. I personally like three, but again, your choice. Uh, we've got mirrors, we've got design one, two, and back again, radio antenna, front left, front right, two front, no, stickers, and we run through a whole load of different options on stickers, so rather than having a sticker and then a colour option for that as a design, it runs through various different colour options, so you can mix and match with the colour, or no stickers at all, it's entirely up to you. Decoration lanterns, that was at the back, wasn't it? Make sure I get that right. So on the back there, we've got yellow, we've got red, we've got green, blue, no. Then we've got decorative light. Now, that was in the cab at the front here, I think, in the window. Yeah, we've got no, we've got yellow, red, green, blue, back to no. We've got airfoil, deflector, airfoil, so deflectors, deflector and airfoil, or no. We've then got stair lights in orange, red, white or back off again we've got main color anything on this palette like that we've got fender color does the back section there on that palette front grille we have got some sort of metallics silver and that kind of stuff but again you can mix and match however you want to go about it rim color again we've got silver we've got a stainless and a chrome personally again i like the silver that's just my own personal preference and a license plate on on there too so let's jump in start it up I like the sound of it. Nice horn. Lighting's pretty good too. Like it. Turn that lighting on. Actually, did it do the lights? Oh yeah. So if you've gone for the lights, I went for the green lights in the windows. If you know, the lights we don't have to have them. Interior. They do skew the view a little bit there. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh no, I'm really pleased. Cool, cool, cool. When I set this up, um, ready to do the review. So I did all the prep for this up in the Lake District yesterday evening, but I didn't have time to record it and edit it, and then because it was going to take hours for it to post where we were, I wouldn't have been able to do it and get it done in time. So I thought, well, when I get home, I'll... those mirrors were blurred. They were completely blurred, and they weren't showing anything. And I thought, oh, that's such a pity because it's a really cool mod. They're actually fine. They're brilliant now. Okay, that's really cool. So, uh, let's swing around a little bit. So we have got raised front loader tool. Oh, that's doing the mirrors, isn't it? There we go. That's moving our mirrors. Do both at the same time? I don't just as the left one. So L1, right stick side to side. We can adjust that mirror. Then R1, right stick side to side. We can do, you do that one. A bit closer. We so, so see the side of the vehicle. We come out and we do that. Then L1, R1. We've got right stick side to side. We've got air suspension on the front. See that coming down? Slow towards the ground, a little bit lower. Pick up a bit, there we go. Oh, 
That's it. That's very cool. I do like the old Volvos. Anyway, that's the NL series by Nazif Modding and AJ3D, which brings, um, brings me on to the last of the mods for Friday the 12th of April. Again, apologies for the delay. And it's these. This is the new Holland TK4 series by Pepe978. 22.81 megabytes download, 13 slots uh, each. or well, for the first one, each, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so these are the standard in-game ones, the methane power one that we've got. And these are your um, vineyard type tractors. I mean, that's what they're designed for. Uh, crawler orchard tractors, so orchards, vineyards, that kind of thing. But these two aren't methane powered. I don't think they're methane powered. They certainly don't sound like. We've got a rubber tracked version and we've got a metal tracked version so a little bit of squeak and clank on that which is really nice. There's a commemorative option as well and you can have this with it or without the rollover protection but even with it you can fold that down as well. Like the Antonio Carrero there's a couple of those in there that you can do that with. So these you will find on the small tractors and as I say the standard one there you go TK480 methane power that's the base version. So out here then we've got the TK4 series rubber track and the series iron track. 43,500, 47,500. Slot count comes down to one on each of them. Options then we've got standard configuration, 120 kilo weight. We've got 280 kilo weight, 350 or off. I actually, I like that. It's got quite an aggressive stance to it. Uh, we've then got engine setup. We've got 85 horsepower, 99 horsepower, 107 horsepower. Then we go on to the Centenary edition, 85 horsepower, 99 or 107. And then back again. We've got protective arch, yes or no. Has a beacon on it automatically. We've got side protection. We've got a left one, a right one, or both. Something to hang on to at those high speeds of 7 miles per hour. Then we go on to the iron track version. Options are exactly the same, just with iron tracks. That's all. Uh, same options with our horsepowers and the commemorative edition as well. Then protective arch, yes or no, and then side protections as well. So, hop on. Lights, beacon. It's nice and quiet on the rubber tracks, as you can hear. A little bit of a clunk as it's going, but very, very nice indeed. First person, this is really neat and tidy. I love the little joystick sort of as well there. For our steering. We've got a um, single mirror with our beacon going, but then we've got the option to. Uh, oh, that's on the back, isn't it? We want to swing that around. So we can adjust our draw bar side to side on the back there. L1 and right stick side to side. Then R1 and right stick side to side. We'll put that down. So you can still have the beacon going if you want to. And the good thing about this as well, this is not up or down. You can put it in any position you want. I'm not, I don't know why you would want to put it in a position you want. It does give you the option to place it wherever you want if you've got it as an option. But the great thing about that is, if you think, well, I don't know if I want it, you can still buy it with it on and just fold it down all the time. It does give the option to have the beacon. Uh, then we've got... That's interesting. Toggle steering mode. Front protection, no front protection. Let's have a look on this one. Just one got it. Toggle mode. Front protection, no front protection. I cannot for love of God what that means. Is that going to stop me crashing into something? Is that about a warning light? Come on. I don't know, can't work that out. Anyway, I do like a little bit of squeak from this one. Oh, it's there! So, toggle steering mode, front protection, it puts that little, um, I guess if at these high speeds, if you suddenly hit something, it's to stop you smashing the dash and stuff, is it? So you can just see there. I'm glad I came into the interior view, you can just see that little bar appearing and disappearing. Let's swing around into the lights so we can see it. 
There we go. So if all the people have already commented. <laughs> I did find it. I usually do. I tend to find something. And that's it. For the mods for Friday the 20th, the 12th of April. We have got a couple of maps. I'm going to get onto those. I'm not sure when. Uh, possibly tomorrow now. Uh, Alpen Hill by Black Pat Modding and uh, Al Teich Westerwald by... I always say it wrong. I'm going to say Kaz again, but Kala, I think. Um, anyway, that's it for the mods for Friday the 12th of April. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.